Hello, everybody. Time to put on your thinking caps and guess where we are right now for this new chapter. Here is your clue. These wetlands are found close to the shore. Thick bushes all around. Don't venture too deep by yourself or you may not be found. A, mangrove. B, jungle. C, lagoon. That's right, we are at a mangrove. Mangroves are thick clusters of trees and shrubs found near seashores or riverbanks. They have long, thick roots that can be seen above the water. Today we're going to learn about bar graphs. This is what a bar graph looks like. Bar graphs help to organize and compare data. The bars represent the value denoted in the graph. In the image, each square is equal to one unit. Hence, there are five oranges, two apples, six bananas, and three kiwis. Bar graphs can be read vertically or horizontally. This graph of vertical bars shows us the favorite colors of the students. Yellow is the most liked color by 15 students, while pink is the least liked by seven students. This graph shows us the same results or data through horizontal bars. Let's see some more examples of bar graphs. Mangroves are home to many animals. The following bar graph shows us the animals that were spotted by Luffy at the mangrove. We can see in the graph that the animal Luffy spotted the most was the hermit crab. He spotted nine of them. Luffy spotted snakes the least. Only three. How many more iguanas than pelicans did Luffy spot? Six iguanas and five pelicans. That means six minus five equals two one. Luffy spotted one iguana more than a pelican. Together, Luffy spotted six plus five plus three plus nine. That equals to 23 animals at the mangrove. Mangroves are fascinating. The Sun Darbin's mangrove is the largest in the world, spreading across many kilometers. Well-known mangroves are also visited by tourists. Here is another bar graph that shows us the number of tourists on five boats who visited the mangrove in a day. Can you tell which boat had the most tourists? Boat C has the most with 16 tourists. Which boat had the least tourists? Boat E had the least, only seven tourists. Which two boats had the same number of tourists? Boat A and Boat D have the same number of tourists. Both have 10 tourists each. What is the difference between the boat with the most and the least tourists? The difference between Boat C and Boat E is 16 minus seven. That equals to nine tourists. Mangroves can be very thick and dense, and it's easy to get lost in here. We better find our way out for the next chapter. Meanwhile, you find out how well you know bar graphs in the quiz up next.